6,060 pounds. Rockwood two slide Ultra V with private queen bed slide bedroom coming in under 6,100 pounds. Not too bad, giving you a bed slide and half ton towability here at Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We actually sold this to the one and only original owner. When it was time to update and upgrade, they gave us a call. We made her happen. Now this one's a bit of an interesting layout. I always really liked it personally. I like front and rear kitchens. I think it, it's, it, it's a far better kind of like function and flowing floor plan. Now this has a vaulted roof inside to give us that extra kind of space. Obviously our air is uh, centralized. It actually has double AC runs, which is cool. Nice campsite window straight across from our sofa. Always good for uh, viewing. And this is built with dual section day and night shades as well, which is kind of cool. That table fully free floats, so you can fold it down into a sleeper, or you can move it in front of the table, like a little dining table, or you could take it outside for picnic time. You could really do whatever you want. And you see how there's easy access storage below both sides of that aluminum framed dinette. Yet another Rockwood doing Rockwood things kind of thing. Over here you see we've got the, um, in part of the emerald package, we'll talk more about that outside, but the solid surface kitchen counters, and that is a, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, that's a stone cast sink. Let me take a look at that. Yes, indeed, do it is. So that is rated for up to 500 degrees, by the way, which water boils way before that. So you really can't, you know, screw it up. And this was actually my favorite generation of Rockwood wood tones. I think they look beautiful now. But I have always been a sucker for the lighter colored maple wood tones that we're looking at right here. Always been a favorite. Now, if you notice, the kitchen actually extends partially into the slide over here because your pantry and a whole bunch of drawers are built into the slide out itself. And you can see how deep that slide is. That's how deep that storage is with a little extra kick of storage above as we work our way around to that side breeze window. Now this sofa right here, you can see, does not show a whole lot of signs of, you know, use, abuse, wear and tear, etc. Um, that is also a tri-fold sleeper sofa. So it's a couple's camper, but let's say that you have adult kids and they have a kid or two. Well, mom and dad uh, guest can sleep there, while, you know, grandkid thing one, thing two can sleep on the dinette if need be. So there's a lot of different uh, ways to do all this. Obviously that TV can pivot around, so if you want easy viewing from the sofa, you definitely have it. That TV can dismount and remount outside. I'll actually show you where that is in just a little bit here. Now, if you're noticing, as I'm flashing around, you can see that bedroom door is open, and you can see that there's no mattress. Well, here's the thing. Uh, the folks are purchasing a new Freedom Express from us here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And one of the things that we're doing is they wanted to keep the bed that they put in here. So, as a result, you're going to have a brand new, never used, 60 by 80 True Queen bed put in this. But before we do that, it made it very, very easy for me to actually be able to lift that bed up. You get to see that all aluminum framework. That's what I was talking about under the dinette, by the way and how you've got the outside grill and workstation little, you know, utility table back there. Not to mention the fact that you have a pair of big full extension pull-out drawers here. Now, if you look, this is also a neat place to get to see a peek at Rockwood Construction. Anywhere that they need to screw through the aluminum framework on this RV, they will actually stuff it with a little bit of wood so that it doesn't crush that tubing. Now, as long as we're here in the bedroom, I'm going to do some more looking around. we got more dresser drawer space down below. And the previous owners did modify the closet doors. They took these sliding mirror doors off and they put a set of accordion doors on. It just it fit their preferences better. If that's not your cup of tea, no sweat. You can modify it as you see fit, just like those folks did. Everyone can kind of do their own thing. And there are TV hookups on that rear wall, by the way. As we slide past this deadbolting second door, keep in mind that does have a deadbolt, so no one's going to just walk in on you when you're here in the bathroom, uh, you see that we have a walk-through kind of mid-bath area here. Normally I'd have gone through this from the other direction, but I skipped ahead because of the whole mattress thing. Up top we have that larger vent fan, complete with roof vent cover, by the way. And a thing Rockwood has done well for years is they've always done a good job of including linen and toiletry space directly into their bathrooms. As I back up, you can see that we have a, a you know adult-sized corner shower instead of a kid-sized travel trailer tub. Um, additionally, just like we had a stone cast sink in the uh, kitchen area, we have ourselves a stone cast sink here in the uh, bathroom as well. Now that is very deep and it is well fit for adult-sized hands. But like I said, just so that you can see it for yourselves, you are getting a brand new mattress in this used RV. 
Here's a quick look at it. As you can see, still brand new. The, uh, <laughs> I guess the phrase is apparently in the wrapper, but it's still, you know, wrapped up in the factory plastic. 60 by 80, true queen, all the original kind of things here. Actually, I think that might be the bedding uh, covers even from the Freedom Express right there. But what's nice here is you still have those side stands contained within the bed slides, side breeze windows. It's got all the stuff, brand new stuff, in fact. Had to use price tag, how about that? Overall, the exterior looks pretty good, although I have not been able to access the roof. Uh, looks like it was stored outside, and as you notice in the background, there's a little bit of that frozen precipitation snow cone stuff laying around everywhere. There's a little bit of layer on that in the roof, so I wasn't able to directly eyeball it myself. Cool thing on uh, the uh, Ultra Vs and their bigger sister, the Windjammers, when they were in production, is the Venos actually extends over the tongue, so it is fully enclosing the propane, which gives it a really cool protected propane system. Um, there's also a handy battery disconnect kind of hidden in there out of the way, which is cool. You see how we've got magnet holdbacks holding that open for us and that, uh, you know, kitchen window there letting in some extra ambient light. Underbelly is enclosed and like pretty much any Rockwood, you've got that four wheel independent suspension giving us some excellent ride and handling. In a way, this RV was a little bit ahead of its time when it was built and by the door you'll actually see a badge indicating Emerald Edition. Uh, that was the highest level of upgrades available on an Ultra V at the time this was built. Uh, those features have essentially basically become standard in the Rockwood Ultralight series and they've actually advanced even further beyond that. Big power awning on this sucker too. You see how that clears both of those 30 inch wide entry doors. And something I've uh, more recently started adopting the phrase Rockwood doing Rockwood things. Not only do they have the double doors, not only are they both covered by a big awning, but they both have the extra large entry handle, which is kind of nice. Now over here, uh, right under the big V, you see that vertical mounting bracket. The interior TV can actually dismount and remount out here. And uh, under the bed, if you remember, you may have seen where this does have the uh, outside grill included with it and little side serving station. So you've got a uh, kind of good full you know, entertainment thing going on here. A couple other things like frameless windows and a simple side mount solar prep plug for those suitcase jobs round us out i think we got ourselves a decent used rv here for you folks again having a full bed slide under 6100 pounds and a half ton towability with that nicer suspension very very handy and very hard to find so give us a call take care stay safe have fun and happy hail it camping everyone